Hey guys, Too Legit City here, and today we're going to be talking about a uh, way of for you to uh, delete gases and liquids. And the method we're going to be showing you today is going to be called the Door Crusher. Of course, the Door Crusher could be expanded to be a uh, bigger size, but for the most part, this is the Door Crusher setup. We set up a simple one with the automation, and we're going to be going over all of that today. Now, for the example we're going to choose, we're going to be crushing the oxygen in this tank. And because we have this liquid lock, we're going to only be able to crush the oxygen in, in this enclosed space. To talk about the design, the thing that you need to have in order to be able to crush any one element, uh, whether it's gas or liquid, crushing solids don't really do anything. But what you need to have is to have a door surrounded. Because when you crush a gas or a liquid, what happens is that the contents inside get displaced. But if there's no space around that area for the liquid or gas to displace, it gets deleted instead. So we're going to use this store specifically to crush our oxygen. While this store is going to stay locked so that it's just going to be one of the edge tiles. And this is going to be the opening that we're going to allow the oxygen to flow in. Now the automation is very simple. All you need to do is have a timer sensor and a buffer gate. Now what this is going to do is we're going to have the timer sensor on a set duration. It's going to close the first door and then it's going to close the second door afterwards. And then after that, both doors are going to open. This allows the gas to inhabit these four tiles. When this door closes, we basically surround this door with solid tiles so that when this door closes, all the gases get deleted on these two tiles. So of course, the automation setup is very simple. Now for the values, what we're going to want to do is the timer is going to be at seven seconds for both red and green, and then our buffer is going to be set to three seconds. And you can see right now we're at about 15.8 kilograms with the doors open. And if I bring up the uh, gas overlay, it's 15.8 as well. So we're going to let this run. And let me speed it up. We'll keep our cursor on this tile. And that way we'll be able to see... Wait, did we set it up? Oh, I never set a red set. There we go. There we go. We're going to be crushing gas. We're going to watch this tile. The volumes go up and down. And as you can see, we're already at 12 kilograms, starting at the 15. The door crusher setup is very strong, as the door crusher actually, because the gases want to spread out in the immediate area, this means that your door, when it deletes gas, it's going to be two tiles of gas after all the gas is settled. So you're crushing anywhere at the beginning, in my video, like 10 to 20 kilograms. But as the gas thins out, the amount of gas you're crushing, you know, drops proportionally to the volume. So you're better off looking at this as a percentage of the volume getting crushed every time versus having a pump being a fixed number. Of course, this is actually faster than pumping out your gases because of that fact. As you can see, we're already at 4,000 grams. The door crusher is very efficient. Now, you could do this with liquids as well. I would recommend switching the design so that the crushing door is at the bottom so that the liquids could fall in. Otherwise, this is the door crusher design, guys. If you guys have any questions about the design, anything you would like to see, leave a comment down below. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.